I did it. I went to Sephora and I picked up a bunch of stuff from the new House Labs launch. So we're gonna talk about it. If you don't know, House Labs is Lady Gaga's makeup brand. And this is actually a complete rebrand. House Labs has been around for a couple of years and I've got to be honest, before the rebrand, I was never interested in House Labs. Never even tried anything from the brand, did not appeal to me at all. But when the photos of this new rebrand came out, this was the first time that I raised my eyebrows and was kind of interested. So it's completely different this time complete different marketing first of all now the products are being sold at sephora you can order these products on the house labs website right now or sephora.com and the products are available in store in only 25 sephoras in the country so a lot of you probably are gonna have to order online. Luckily, the products were at a couple of Sephora's near me. So I took one for the team. I went to Sephora. Here is what the stand looked like. Now, at least at my Sephora, the display did not have the pencil products, the eyeliner or the eyebrow pencil. Gotta be honest with you guys, not really sad about that. Was not eyeing those products anyway. So I don't have those, but I have at least one shade of everything else that I'm excited to share with you. I haven't tried these products on yet, but based on my swatches and the feel of these products. I've got to admit y'all, they feel pretty high quality. I'm excited to throw these on my face. Now, like I said, this is the rebrand. So what is new and exciting about this brand is they've remarketed it as a clean beauty brand. So that's kind of the shtick with this. It's is there like it's a clean beauty brand which clean beauty is very trendy right now in the makeup market i know there's like is clean beauty even a thing i'm not i'm not gonna get into that because i use all beauty clean or dirty uh, but yeah that's what they're saying now is that this is a clean beauty brand and you'll be able to tell by the packaging and all of that good stuff. Anyways, I'm excited to get started. I'm gonna start off with the PHD Hybrid Lip Oil. So this is going to be $24. It comes in four shades. I picked up the shade Tint, a sheer pink. Very tempted to pick up Secondary, which is a sheer orange. I thought I'd try it first before I committed to another one because I spent a lot of money all at once, you guys. So this is a clean tinted lip oil that delivers lightweight hydration and a non-sticky shine. The look of it reminded me a lot of the Dior lip glow so I thought we'd give it a go so this is the PhD lip oil you can tell they're definitely taking the clean beauty theme and running with it oh my gosh look at this every time my nails look hideous I feel the need to shove it in your face but <laughs> I was gonna get my nails done but then I picked up this stuff uh, but it is, has kind of that like earthy cardboard feel to it I'm always curious about where a product is made and this is made in the USA if you need to take a look at the ingredients with a 12 month shelf life it says everything is recyclable 0.25 fluid ounces okay let's try it let's try it everything is also vegan and cruelty free for those of you that need that information right it looks like a Dior lip oil to me it feels pretty watery it's not as sticky So I also swatched secondary, which was just sheer orange, and neither of them seemed to have that much color. That's also another reason why I only picked up one shade. But that's pretty. I mean, it's natural. It's something you'd want to keep in your purse. But I like the color that it's giving me. Let me show you the swatch on my hand. So you can see it looks really sheer, but you can see that tint. Comparing it to the Dior, I would say the Dior lip oil is a little bit thicker. This has a thinner feel to it. I think it definitely is warming up to my skin. It definitely feels really nourishing to the lips. I like this. I think that this is a good lip oil. It's lightweight. It's not sticky. It gives a shine to the lips. I'm going to let this sit on my lips while we play with all the other stuff. We've got to talk about this bronzer range. There are... I feel like so many shades. I almost felt like, and feel free to argue with me on this, that there was too many shades. When I was at the display, I did not know what to pick. But anyways, I ended up with the shade Light Level 3. I thought they got dark pretty quickly. So this range, if you have medium and deep skin tones, it's a great range, but if you're only shopping online, it might be a little bit difficult to choose your color. Like I said, I got light level three, which is for fair to light skin tones with a neutral undertone. I have a light medium skin tone, but I felt like this was a tone that I would like. Here's what the box looks like. It is 12 grams of product, $38, not a cheap product. Made in Italy, and here if you need to take a look. So this is what 
what the component looks like. It has this kind of rubbery top to it. And then, like I said, there is a lot of colors in the range. I feel like even the third lightest shade looked pretty dark. But let's see. I'm going to swatch it. Oh, it feels nice and soft. Kind of almost like a cream to powder feel. And look, it has a really soft finish. I'm excited about this. So something else about my preferences for bronzers that you should know is typically I actually prefer a pretty light bronzer that doesn't stray too far from my skin tone. I like that natural look. So I'm going to use a refer number five brush. So I would say if you're around my skin tone, you probably could go even a couple shades deeper. But I really like this shade on me. I think that this is a good shade. Personally, it adds a little bit of warmth, but it's not too warm on me. Definitely a really great neutralish tone for a bronzer and it's applying really smoothly with the consistency you don't get too much kickback it's not an overly pigmented bronzer which i like huh and it's yeah i mean i like it i think that looks really pretty and application was really really easy doesn't feel like a very dry powder it's definitely a very creamy powder which i think is going to go over well in the summertime honestly i mean I don't know what else to say about this bronzer. I think it's very nice. I'm very happy with the color that I chose. I think it looks really great. It applied really great to the skin. It is a pricey bronzer, but performance wise, I'm digging it. Okay, so a lot of you told me you were excited about the highlights. So these are the Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlighter with Fermented Arnica. I don't know, they're bragging about the ingredients here, <laughs> which I don't know anything about really. But this is supposed to be an innovative, clean highlighting powder that melts into the skin, delivering a pure radiant glow. Tons of shades. Again, I feel like this range is extremely e inclusive, especially to those of you with medium to deep skin tones. The highlights that they offer here, <gasps> I was so shocked in store. They were so beautiful. So I ended up with two different shades because I noticed there seemed to be two different finishes with the highlight powders. One was more of like a regular smooth metallic, and then the other formula had a little bit more sparkles to it. Guys, these are expensive though. These are $40 each. I mean, house labs ain't cheap. <laughs> Let me tell you that. So here are the boxes that they're going to come in. I like the gel powder feel to them. They feel really high quality. 18 month shelf life, made in Italy. And keep in mind guys, this is just my first impressions. These are the first time that I'm trying these products. I've only swatched them in store. So I will continue to update you on these. These are products that are going in my rotation to really fully test. I really like the lip oil. It's wearing down so so nice. So here is what the outer packaging looks like. It has that holographic look to it. This is so much better than the first launch. I'm, I like this a lot. It seems much more high quality. So this is Sunstone. You'll see it has that embossing. Sunstone they describe as a pink gold and I thought it just looked so gorgeous under the lights at Sephora. Ooh, I'm excited to put that on. And here is Rose Quartz. So I feel like Rose Quartz has a little bit more reflect in there. Looks really gorgeous. Yeah, I felt like in store some of the formulas were more sparkly than, than others, but I could be mistaken because I thought I got one sparkly formula and one of the less sparkly finishes and they both look like they have the same finish. <laughs> so maybe it was just the lighting in Sephora. Let's get these on. So first we're gonna go with Sunstone. That is that first pink gold that we swatched. I'm using a Sigma Dream Glow highlight brush. I love the feel of these. They are that gel powder formulation and they really do feel like that. Think of like a baked gelée formula. You're not going to get any fallout with it. Super smooth to the skin. I was worried that this shade would be like too metallic or anything. It actually blends in seamlessly. Huh. As somebody who was never interested in the first launch of House Labs, I've got to say what they've done but this rebrand, really nice job so far. I am into every formula. Okay, let's give a peach quartz, which they describe as a golden peach. Let's see how this looks. This one is a bit brighter on the skin. I feel like sunstone has a little bit more gold to it. I mean, looking now, 
I probably did not need both of these, but you can see this one, I don't know, it's just a little brighter. This one is a little bit more golden and natural on my skin. They're both very, very pretty though. And they are a highlight, so you'll see they aren't exactly smoothing my skin, but I don't think they're emphasizing texture in a way that is unflattering. This is a good highlight. It is a pricey highlight, but I think it looks gorgeous. I'm taking some of Rose Quartz and we're just gonna, I don't know, I just wanna put it in places. Okay, I like those highlights. And by the way, I also swatched in store Rose Quartz, which is this gorgeous light magenta shade and Fire Opal. Oh my gosh, if you have a medium or deep skin tone, please buy Fire Opal for me. I almost got it just as like a blush topper. I think it's stunning. So a couple of you let me know you wanted me to try these. So I picked up a couple shades. None of the crazy shades, but these are the High Power Eye, Cheek, and Lip Pigments. So we're gonna put that to the test today. They are $24 each. Huge range of colors. There are, I believe, eight shimmer finishes, and then the rest are a full pigment matte finish. I picked up one matte and one shimmer for you guys and I tried to pick a pretty neutral color so that I could try them on different parts of my face to see really how versatile that they are any color you can imagine is in this range I feel like green red orange and then there's me who picked up a blush pink <laughs> so these are described as a clean bold and creamy pigment paint that was created for use on the eyes lips cheeks and body you can use this to do like graphic liner and whatnot as well if you apply it with a brush I'm excited here the box that they come in looks like this. These are made in Italy, 12 month shelf life. So this is what the component looks like. This is the shade Blush Matte. So I had to get like a basic color that I felt like would look good on both the cheeks and the lips. So I went with this one. And this does dry down to have a strong matte finish because when I was wearing it on my hand on the way back, it really did dry down super matte. So though, yeah, you can see that has a lot of pigment, wow. <laughs> this shade also looked so stunning. This is the Rose Gold Shimmer. I don't know, Michael, if you're watching this, I met Michael, we were both giddy over this collection, just <laughs> watching it at the display. I convinced him to get this shade because look at that, you guys. It is really dimensional, so you know we're gonna put that on the eyelids. Wow. Let me clean off the lips. The lip oil did wear down through me talking, but I think it left a really gorgeous stain. I like this lip oil. This is like a great lip care treatment, if you ask me. Okay, so let's start off with the blush matte. I'm gonna put some on my hand. I'm gonna use a BK Beauty A505. I'm just gonna paint that on. Oh, I probably need a lip liner. Whoa, <laughs> I did not realize that this was gonna be light against my skin tone, that's funny. And then you do need to give it some time to set. So while that sets, let's try this on the cheeks. And I wanna do the shimmer on the lips as well, just to see. Since this has so much pigment, all I'm gonna do is put just a little bit on my finger. And then I'm gonna use a sponge to blend. I was curious if this was gonna be hard to blend out. Thought it could take a couple tries. I can tell you I immediately don't like the way that I just applied that because this dries down pretty fast. So it kind of left a mark where I applied it with my finger. So I would suggest doing one cheek at a time. This dries quickly if you're putting this on the cheek. I'm still gonna apply this on my hand. I think that's the best way to do it. And I'm gonna get a brush now. This is the BK Beauty 106. Yeah, this is the best way to apply it, I would say, so that it doesn't dry down while you're blending it. I'm gonna be honest, this is a little bit hard to work out. It's almost too matte, it dries a little too quickly. The color is gorgeous, but I don't think it blends the easiest on the face. It dries down really quickly as well, so you have to go work cheek by cheek. You can't apply it on both cheeks and then blend one cheek and then the other you have to apply blend apply blend on each cheek yeah the way to go with this is definitely with the brush in terms of using it as a blush a little difficult not my favorite way it looks good i bet you the lasting power on this is going to be amazing but there's a learning curve in that now let's apply it to the crease of my eye okay i'm just using a synthetic luxie brush and we're gonna apply this not bad I'm working quickly, but we got a pretty nice soft blend here. Let's work it under here. And then another problem is 
what I put on my hand also dries so quickly, so I have to keep reapplying more on my hand or my palette or whatever you're using. And these mattes are really pigmented as well, so if you get like a black shade or a red shade, you can use a liner brush, and I think this would be really great for graphic liner. I, of course, you guys know I'm boring, so <laughs> I went with the softer colors. And I have to say, now that it has set down on the lips, I wouldn't call it comfortable, but it does feel pretty lightweight, all things considered. I definitely would layer it over top of something a little bit more hydrating. Like, I would want to chapstick before lip line and then just paint that on on the center of my lips, but it is versatile in the way that they advertise it, and I think that you you can use it for eyes, lips, face. Okay, I can't wait though to use rose gold shimmer for fun. I'm gonna put some of it on my lips. I don't know, why not, okay? See, that's kind of, I'd never wear it, but that's kind of cool. Yeah, I would never do that again, but you can if you want, if you're into that. I'm gonna use the BK Beauty A505 and I'm going to apply this to the eyelid. Oh yeah, this is stunning. So this is how it applied with the brush. It looks pretty, it doesn't look patchy or anything. That was easy to apply with the brush. Let me see how we do with the finger now. So I'm putting a little bit more on the back of my hand. I'm using my ring finger. I think applying with the brush is a little bit easier. I like the precision of applying with a brush better. So I prefer the lid color with a brush. I bet you these are not gonna go anywhere. So that's how these look. I'm gonna be honest with you all, these aren't my favorite items in the collection, but I will say I'm gonna see how they wear because these might be really important for somebody like me who lives in a very hot, humid climate. These might combat sweat really well. I have a feeling that the wear time on these is gonna be amazing, but application is a little bit trickier than I would like for it to be, but that might be made up for in wear time. These are hard to get off. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Told y'all the, okay. Um, yeah, these really are not going anywhere. They're long wearing claim on these. They weren't wrong. Oh my goodness. So the last product that I have to review for you is the Le Monster Lip Crayon. These are $22 each. Huge range of colors as well. I really liked the options that they gave. There is 12 demi mattes and one shimmer. These are made in Germany and they felt really good. I was tempted to buy a couple colors, but I was like, let me be a little smart with my money. Here is what the component looks like, very cute. And then at the bottom, you can twist it up. Clean, comfortable lipsticks that wraps lips in full coverage, long wearing color. They say it's a lip liner and a lipstick put in one. I got the shade Mauve Matte. It has the word mauve in it. I probably want it. I don't know if you can see that, but it swatches so smooth. Wow, really creamy. Okay, I lied to you, by the way. I just said it twists at the bottom. It does not. <laughs> you just twist it like this. Okay. Really great pigment. Look, let me show you one swatch. That's pretty good. Well, if you're into pigment. <laughs> okay, and my only concern is lack of ability to sharpen. I was hoping a sharpener would be at the bottom. Definitely is not. So once this tip becomes flat, you might lose that precision. But wow, this is really smooth. Not that this needed my approval, but I approve of this color. I think it's gorgeous. It definitely feels quite creamy and comfortable, but it does have a matte finish to it on the lips. You know, it's definitely not as comfortable as the lip oil, but I do like that. I felt like I had good control. I feel like it's gonna last a while. I'm gonna put on some liner and lashes and I'll be back to give you my final thoughts on these. I'm definitely ready to give you my first impressions on these. So let's talk about the standouts in this line, the items that I feel like stand out in the makeup market in general. The first is going to be the lip oil. I love that it leaves a little bit of a stain behind. I love how lightweight it feels on the lips and how nourishing it is. This is definitely a hit. I might have to pick up the orange one. I like this one a lot. I do. <laughs> and then also I think the highlighters are standouts in this line as well. I love the way that they look on the cheek. I went ahead and reapplied over top of the blush because the blush kind of mattified everything. So I have it back on. I mean, you can see how stunning that looks on the cheeks and the color range in here, the options that there are, are so beautiful. I've seen all of the shades firsthand, definitely worth taking a look at. I love the shades that I picked up, but 
there are so many other beautiful colors, especially for those of you with medium to deep skin tones, scrumptious. So those are my two favorite items in the line. I also do really like the bronzer. I think this is very nice. Again, a very large color range with the bronzers, almost too much to the point where I was a little overwhelmed, but they have kind of a really nice gel powder formulation, feels creamy on the face, applied very nice. I really love the color that I ended up with. So I definitely like the bronzer. I wouldn't say this this is my favorite bronzer off the first use. I will continue using it, of course, but this one, she is still very good. I also did really like the lip crayons as well. I think they're nice. I don't think they're anything super unique on the market. I know Revlon has one that this reminds me a lot of. I would say this one is a little bit more comfortable than the Revlon. And by the way, this will last a long time. I can tell already by the way that I tried to remove the swatches on my hand and I couldn't get them off. So this seems like it's gonna be super long wearing. So I I do like this. And the only products that I'm not sold on yet are the pigment paints. I don't think I'm the target clientele for this one. At least for the matte, I found it a little bit harder to blend out. So that's the con, but I think the pro of this is it's not, it's not gonna come off. <laughs> so I'm thinking I'm going to a concert next week. I'm definitely wearing this to the concert because this is not going anywhere. I literally was scrubbing the heck out of my arm to get the swatches off of my arm. So if you want something super long lasting, maybe look towards this. Applying it in a blended way like I did with the eyes, you gotta work fast. But I think, you know, if you get different colors or use this color, I don't care, and use it as eyeliner, you're actually gonna really like that because drying that fast actually makes the application easier. So it depends in what ways you plan on wearing it. The shimmer finish, I did wanna mention this. As I got a little bit closer in the mirror when I was applying my eyeliner you do have to be careful about over applying this because it can make the eyelid look a little chunky and textured where I applied it with my finger I see that it looks like I almost applied a little bit too much so it looks a little chunky where I applied it with the brush it looks a little bit better but close up it does look quite textured on the eyelid which I am not in love with so I think I do prefer the matte finish and the shimmer finish still looks pretty but be careful not to over apply with this. It doesn't have a very pigmented full shimmer finish. There's a lot of glitters and texture in there that do emphasize that on the eyelids. And also I could not get these off the lips. So if you want that super long lasting bulletproof makeup though, I think you will enjoy this, especially what makes this product stand out is the colors in this range. So many unique colors. I picked the boring ones, but while these are the least favorite items in the line for me, they're still really good. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I think that this rebrand was a success, if you ask me. As somebody who didn't care for the first launch, the original launch, this one caught my eye and I think they did a great job with it. The quality is phenomenal. The packaging is phenomenal. It feels like a high quality brand. And I don't know, I mean, I liked everything that I tried today. So I will keep you guys updated. I'm gonna continue testing these products, testing them in different environments, for a different amount of time, but, but I definitely wanted to get this review up quickly for you guys because it is not a readily available brand right now. It is only available in a limited number of stores, but I'm pretty confident you guys are gonna like these items. So far across the board, they seem pretty good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Thank, thank you so much for watching this video and being subscribed to my channel, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.